एंटेनॉस क्लासिफिकेशन सीरीज ऑन एंटेनॉस एंड वेव प्रोपोगेशन लेक्चर नंबर वन पॉइंट वन टू एंटेनॉस और इन एविटेबल एंड अनअवॉइडेबल पार्ट्स ऑफ वायरलेस कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम्स दे आर इंटेग्रल पार्ट्स they are critical parts uh, of uh, wireless uh, communication systems their performance uh, affects uh, heavily on the overall performance of uh, the wireless uh, communication system several types several varieties of antennas are uh, there used in the industry most of them are uh, passive a few are uh, active several classifications are there here we consider two among uh, them two classifications from them classification 1 according to this classification antennas are divided into wire antennas aperture antennas micro strip antennas reflector antennas lens antennas array antennas and uh, fractal antennas dipoles monopoles helical beam antennas these are all examples for uh, wire uh, antennas dish antennas lens antennas horn antennas micro strip antennas these are all examples for aperture type antennas rectangular micro strips circular micro strips elliptical micro strips these are all examples for micro strip antennas dish antenna flat sheet antenna corner reflector antenna these are examples for uh, reflector type uh, antennas uh, dielectric lenses metal plate lenses epmp hpmp these are all examples for uh, lens antennas broadside array end fire array agiwoda these are examples for uh, array antennas uh, Sear Pinsky gasket, fractal bow tie antennas are uh, popular examples for uh, fractal antennas. Notice this division, this classification is not exclusive. It means you can find an antenna in more than one type of uh, antennas. For example, micro strip. these antennas are there in aperture type of antennas these are also there in uh, micro strip antennas similarly dish antennas these are there in aperture type of antennas these are also there in reflector type of uh, antennas this aspect has to be kept uh, in mind that uh, the classification given here is not uh, exclusive now a few points uh, important points uh, significant points uh, which enhance our understanding regarding the classification now we consider uh, a few points regarding wire antennas wire antennas are the earliest antennas the mankind has ever been used these are the first antennas that are known to mankind these are the antennas which are not only simplest cheapest and most versatile in many applications but also thoroughly analyzed and understood the first wireless system demonstrated by hadj in 1886 used a half wave dipole to transmit and a loop to receive both being wire antennas dipole is a wire antenna loop is also the wire antenna marconi was able to send signals over large distances in uh, 
using wire antennas. Examples to this uh, type of antennas already they are given dipoles, loops, helical antennas. These are all uh, examples, popular ones. Here is uh, shown several wire antennas along with their current distribution. Straight linear dipoles and monopoles. In A is shown short dipole with a uniform current distribution. So this is current. Current is uniform along uh, its length. Length is uh, short, very small. That's why it is usually indicated by DL. DL stands for differential length. In B is uh, shown, this is also a dipole, a short dipole, but here current uh, varies linearly. Linearly increases as you move towards the middle and decreases as you move towards the ends. In C is shown a monopole. Here length is dl by 2, current is varying in a linear manner. At the end it is uh, 0 as you move towards the middle. Usually it is uh, erected over the ground. Near the ground, therefore current uh, maximum. In D is shown, this is also a dipole, but its length is lambda by 2, half wave length. That's why it is called half wave dipole. Current distribution is called half sinusoidal current distribution, like this. Variation is sinusoidal. Notice at the ends, current is 0, at the middle, it is maximum, but uh, variation is sinusoidal. That is the difference between B, C and D. In B and C, current variation is linear. In D and C and E also, it is sinusoidal. In E is shown another uh, wire antenna. Here also, it is uh, erected over ground like uh, in C. But here, the height of the wire is lambda by 4. Current distribution is sinusoidal. At the end, one end it is zero here. At the other end near ground, it is maximum variation is sinusoidal. Quarter sinusoidal current distribution. This variation is called quarter sinusoidal current distribution, and this structure is called quarter wave monopole. These are all examples for wire antennas. Another example for wire antenna is a helical beam antenna. You can see here a wire. A wire wound in the form of a helix, helical coil. It radiates. It is an antenna. Input is given here. Output comes out of here. The radiator here is a wire. That is why it is uh, a wire antenna. We consider another type of uh, antennas, aperture antennas. Salient features of these antennas are, these are characterized by large apertures, larger apertures. In due course of time, a definition for aperture is uh, going uh, to be given. For right now, aperture means uh, opening, opening through which uh, Signal enters into the antenna or uh, signal leaves from the just opening. This much understanding is uh, sufficient to go further. So aperture means opening. Aperture antennas are associated with larger openings, larger apertures. Pyramidal and conical horn antennas are examples for this type of antennas. Horn antennas in general, they are uh, aperture antennas. They can be very conveniently flush mounted on the skin of a craft and for this reason they find wide applications in the space vehicles. This point pertains to applications uh, of uh, aperture antennas. Example for uh, aperture antennas, uh, some more are shown in this diagram, parabolic reflectors. Aperture, you can see this is uh, the aperture. Here it is the aperture. Aperture is uh, huge. 
first one is dish adna second one is cylindrical parabolaid these are examples for uh, aperture adna these are also examples for reflector adna which we are going to discuss soon horn adna rectangular horn adna pyramidal horn adna conical horn adna these are all examples for aperture antennas another variety is microstrip antennas salient features of these antennas are these were introduced in early 1970s even though the idea was first mooted by g a deschamps in 1953 and first patent was obtained by gatton and basin not in 55 they have the advantages of being simple lightweight inexpensive low profile conformal to the surface they find wide applications in aircraft spacecraft satellite and missile systems rectangular circular elliptical patches are examples for this type micro strip antennas are also known as patch antennas they work mainly in uh, microwave uh, region another variety is uh, reflector antennas salient features are several varieties are there parabolic and corner reflectors are best examples parabolic reflectors are already shown earlier out of all parabolic dish antennas is the one that is used widely they got developed during the exploration of uh, exploration of outer space they provide extremely high gains uh, capable of receiving even the weakest of the signals and transmitting them to the farthest points corner reflectors are used in radar and radio navigational systems parabolic reflectors they are uh, widely used in the microwave region especially in radar communication systems corner reflectors are used mainly in navigational systems lens antennas a few points regarding lens antennas the principle of working of lens antennas is same as that of optic lenses these are primarily used as collimators to converge a diverging wave front they suffer with excessive weight and larger dimensions at lower frequencies dielectric and metallic lenses uh, find wide applications horn lenses combination horn lens combination finds wide applications at higher frequencies lens antennas these are used at uh, microwave frequencies their operation is similar to optical lenses another type is considered array antennas array means several antennas in array antennas several individual antennas they are connected together and operated as one single unit single antenna as one antenna some features of uh, these uh, antennas are given here array antennas are most versatile of all the antenna systems usually the elements of the array are identical these are widely used in space borne missions and earth bound systems with arrays it is possible not only to synthesize any desired pattern but also possible to obtain main beam that can be used for scanning physical scanning mechanical scanning it is associated with uh, several uh, issues problems but uh, with arrays uh, mechanical scanning can be 
replaced by electronic scanning. There is no physical movement. Beam is uh, moved, used to scan the space electronically with the help of arrays. It is considered to be the biggest advantage, especially in case of radar systems. It is also possible to control the main lobe beam width and side lobe levels with the arrays. Examples of this type are Yagyuda, Aperture Arrays, etc. Examples for array antennas are shown here, B antenna. Rhombic antenna, Agi Uda array. These three are arrays. In V antenna, you can find two elements. This is one element, this is another element. Two radiators are two individual antennas, two. In case of rhombic antenna, one can find four radiators. In case of Agi Uda array, one can find several dipoles. In this diagram, one, two, three, four, five, six, six elements are there. So these three are uh, examples, uh, prominent examples for array antennas. Another uh, type of uh, antennas is fractal antennas. Before going further, uh, one or two points. Uh, are required to be mentioned here. Fractal antennas are well known for their uh, broadband characteristics. This is one aspect. The second aspect is their analysis is quite complicated, highly mathematical. With this uh, small introduction, now consider a few important points regarding fractal antennas. Fractal geometry is one which possesses self similar property. Antennas use fractal geometries with a view to maximize the structural dimensions that are effective in receiving or transmitting the signals. Their chief feature is in repetition of a, a motif over two or more scale sizes or iterations. The repetition, iteration, Self-similarity, these are all the terms which we come across while discussing about fractal antennas. This leads to compactness, broadbandedness, multibandedness and makes them useful in cellular telephone and microwave communications. Broadbandedness has already been mentioned while entering into the fractal antennas. Another point to be kept in mind is these are also multi-band antennas. Sierpinski gasket is the earliest of fractal antennas. A fractal bow tie antenna is another example for fractal. The frequency independent antennas like uh, log periodic array are considered a subset of uh, fractal arrays. LP dipole array is also exhibits uh, broadbandedness and multi-bandedness. Hence, it is not surprising when it is considered as a type of uh, fractal. Here is a shown fractal antenna, so Sierpinski triangle bow tie antenna. By just watching, one can find certain kind of iterations. Here is a shown Barnsley Fern Dipole Antenna, just like two leaves. In C is a shown another uh, antenna, fractal antenna, by pectinate antenna of uh, Promethimoth. Last one, D. Here is a shown Minkowski first iteration some kind of repetition, iteration is there, self-similarity is there to notice. Another classification is also there, 
let us call it classification two. This classification divides antennas into four categories: electrically small antennas, resonant antennas, broadband antennas, aperture antennas. Short dipole, small loop are examples for electrically small. Half wave dipole, micro strip patch, YAGI, etc., are examples for resonant antennas. Helical beam antenna, spiral uh, and LP dipole array are examples for broadband antennas. Dish, lens, horn, micro strip, these are all examples for aperture antennas. Before going uh, further to have a slightly deeper understanding, small uh, introduction small electrically small means size physical size of the antenna relative to wavelength so relative dimensions relative dimensions with respect to wavelength if it is a small then antenna is considered to be small resonant antennas resonant antennas means when uh, they carry resonant currents then they are uh, resonant antennas antennas whose lengths are uh, lambda by 4 lambda by 2 lambda these are all resonant antennas so broadband antennas means whose beam bandwidth is large aperture means if the antenna's structure has a larger opening, then they are considered as aperture antenna. So for all practical purpose, aperture means opening, opening through which rays or signals enter into the antenna structure or leave from the antenna structure. Aperture is a technical name. It is borrowed from cameras, camera technology. A few points regarding electrically small antennas. The antenna structure is much less than one wavelength. This is a feature of electrically small antenna. Dimensions, largest dimension of the antenna must be less than a wavelength. Electrically small antenna is one which occupies a volume of less than one radian sphere. About this radian sphere we are going to learn soon. Radian sphere is a sphere of radius r equal to lambda by 2 pi. Inside the radian sphere, the stored energy is large, whereas outside it is radiation energy that dominates. A radiator is surrounded by stored energy, radiation energy. Immediately, it is the stored energy that exists after certain distance it is the radiation energy that dominates the directivity input resistance radiation efficiency all are low for this type of antennas the input re reactance is high these antennas work at vhf very high frequency and lower vhf range of frequencies examples to this category are short dipole small loop etc Resonant antennas, a few points regarding these antennas. These antennas can work well at a single or a selected narrow frequency bands. Their frequency of operation is usually from HF to lower gigahertz range. Their gain is moderate to low and the input impedance is real. Bandwidth is narrow. Half wave dipole, micro strip patch, AGI. These are all examples for resonant antennas. Resonant antennas can be defined formally as antennas which carry resonant currents, standing wave currents. These antennas, resonant antennas, they exhibit certain properties important properties are mentioned here as uh, an introduction to them. Here some information is given discriminating resonant and non-resonant antennas. Resonant antennas carry standing wave currents. 
Length is always equal to integral times half wave length. Pattern is bidirectional. Gain is moderate. Gain increases with length. Bandwidth is narrow. Whereas non resonant antennas, they carry traveling wave currents. Notice here it is standing wave current, here it is traveling wave current. Length can be anything even equal to integral times half wave length. There is no restriction on the length. Pattern is unidirectional, gain is larger than resonant antennas, gain increases with length. These are broadband antennas. Now we consider broadband antenna type of antenna. Their salient features are these are characterized by acceptable pattern gain and impedance properties over a wide frequency range. They are able to be broadband by having an active region with a circumference of one wavelength or half wavelength and this region relocates on the antenna as frequency changes. Their salient features are low to moderate but constant gain, real input impedance and wide bandwidth. Their frequency of operation is VHF to middle of gigahertz range. Examples to this category are spiral and log periodic dipole array. Aperture antennas are already considered in the earlier classification. Once again, let us see whether there is any new point, novel point here. These antennas possess, possess larger physical apertures or openings through which radiation can enter or exit. High gain and increase of the gain with the frequency, moderate bandwidth are their important properties. These are used at UHF, ultra high frequency band and above frequencies, horn antennas, lens antennas, reflector antennas. These are all examples for aperture antennas. With this, we come to an end of the session. In this session, we considered two classifications of uh, different classifications of uh, antennas. Important features, their applications, frequency of, of operation. This kind of information is provided. Here it is only an uh, introductory treatment to the antennas. Overall purpose uh, is uh, to provide classification of antennas. Hope this session is useful to you. We meet again in another session soon with a new topic.